Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and we're back in another box truck carry. We are in Lipizig and we want to go to Nunburg with some we get dog food and some cat toys that we want to take to Nunburg. Oh gosh, we need to sign with document. Just do a kind of fancy thing there. Sign the document. And let me see if we can load up our truck. Alright, so we done um organize the tachograph and all of that because we had to um drive from the gas station to the last place we went and drop off a load so we had to I'll go on with sticking um alright. Look like we get things to work now, right? Right, so we could just um, accept this stuff from here. Pull up the arm brakes and up out of the truck. Oh gosh, guys, rain start to fall, you know? Rain start to fall. You know, no rain coat, you know? Guys, the first time you see rain falling on the road, you know? I tell you the truth. I don't even know. I wonder if my wipers. My wipers map. I don't even know, you know. Alright, let me see what's going on, you know. Guys, I don't even think I, I don't even have my my wipers mapped. We got, well, we got to drive just like this, you know. Because I have no time to go through all of that. Alright, so we back in our gear. And let's head out the road. Guys, you know, I was thinking about something the other day. And I was saying in my mind, it's so amazing to know that the people and them who cannot do the things that you do like to criticize. You know, I wouldn't really want to put it in terms of YouTube itself, but I like to kind of speak kind of generally on the, the concept, you know. And it's so strange where if you sit and you, you um, put yourself in a category with some of these people, right? They, they base your failure on their ideology which just no make no sense to me because we could be aiming for two totally different things in life, right? You could be aiming to be some kind of educational person and I could be aiming to be a skilled person. So how is it I could be a failure just because I'm not a person that's educated by your standards if you understand me and I have this kind of funny thing where I always say that no one is so to speak dunce it have a word called dunce that we use locally where I'm from and I say that no one is we go say um let me let me say ignorant I go use that word. No one is ignorant. Because it just depends on what that person wants to open their mind and accept. Because some of the people that take their mind to do a lot of nefarious things. I cannot think about the things they think about. Because it's just not in me. And when I look at the things they do and pull off and get away with it. As be like, but these people is brilliant people. It's just that they use their mind for all the wrong things. And it come back to what I say initially where you can't judge somebody based on your standards. That is your standards. That is not them standard. See? Then it have another thing where some people out here they're just not flashy. They're not, they're not, they're not off things they're just simple 
And you might be looking at them away because you find say, they're not so upbeat like you. You go say, well, you're looking down on them. No. In some cases, some of these people are wealthy people and they just don't want to be a flashy person. Right? Some of them is people who... I see a lot of very educated people. Um, the way they dress. They don't dress like, you know what I mean? Like if they're in the limelight and they want to attract people and them thing Because in their mind, that's not, that not necessary. If you understand. So, we I just say all of this to say, we have to be careful how we judge people, you know. I just judge somebody because you have a certain standard you feel you should go by. That is your standard. That is not my standard. Right? Right, so, with that in mind, guys, that's something for me just talk about, you know. I just wanted to talk about something while we deliver them stuff here. So next time we go come back is when we heading into Nunberg. Alright, so we're coming into Nunberg now. We had a long drive down to Nunberg and the rain stopped falling along the way, which was good. But we drive most of the beginning of the journey without any wiper. So we need to check the wipers and make sure we could get them activated next time around. Hope that they're working in the sim though. Outside of that, while we was coming down, a man brakes check us and we run into a box. So we don't know if we load, we go get the full money for it because I see I get 1% damage. I don't know if it's on the truck or if it's on the load. Are we going to see? Right, so we have to reach the destination. So we we dropping off in the same um let we say the same establishment like where we pick up from in Leipzig. Right, I'm just going to pull up my truck here. Run off to the office and see what's taking place. I don't know if everything going here. Right, so the boat um, items come in here. Let's get back to the truck and pull up by the... By the um, by the loading area here and offload the truck I just want to make sure I don't want to go too too close so I can activate the doors right I believe right they should work So let me go and check on. Alright, I feel the yeah, this good space, you know, I could open the doors. Yeah man, so we, we didn't do we didn't do so bad at all. Sorry, let me see what's going on here on this summer. Yeah. Damage, we get two percent damage. Price deduction of one hundred and ninety-three euros. Alright, so final price. It's um, $9,501.10. All right, good, good, good. We didn't do too bad. All right, so that, that are the summary. So we take that 2% damage off. Is a manual brake check. We will get, we get a little damage there, you know. But guys, anyway, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And come back for another box truck delivery. I am your boy Chaotic Symbol and damn out.